All right, let's take a chance. We might have an early meeting. I can't believe I said that. Let's bring it to order the Monday, May 22nd special meeting at 5 p.m. of the Pawtucket School Committee. Clark, please call the roll. Ms. Carney. Yeah. Mr. Chabano. Yeah. Ms. Doobie. Oh, she's not here. Ms. Fernandez. Yeah. Ms. Grant. Yeah. Mr. Shalal. Yeah. May I ask everyone to say it for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, only God, is a vote for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next line item public participation. Does anyone want to sign up? <laughs> Who's walking down? To, uh, anybody? Nope. Okay. Yeah, no, that's good. All right. Only item for new business discussion action item. May I please have a motion? Hmm. We need a motion to approve the FY24 budget review and revision. Do I have a motion? Yeah, but we have to have, a, there has to be a motion to have discussion. Uh, Mr. Well, um, Mr. Conley? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the committee may engage in a discussion prior to taking a motion on the revision to the bus. Um, there cannot be any action on it, obviously, any specific action on it until a motion. Okay, and I'll throw it out there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the school committee, you know that we've had discussions with the city council. City council has offered a proposal. It is $1 million from a reserve fund of ours for a $500,000 um, increase to our maintenance of effort, or what will be included in our maintenance of effort going forward. So it's $1 million out of our reserve fund, and they will... Uh, allocate five hundred thousand dollars to this year's uh, budget from the city council, and uh, we are all well aware of this. Now, we had a meeting last Monday, and uh, I had a few members join. That was great. Uh, we all got firsthand information, and we all got to sit around and actually talk. So that was always that's always a good thing. Discussion, Mr. Shabana. So, in that meeting, what's the What's the reasoning? What's what's the rationale for the ask? The ask. In other words, we no, I know we submitted a budget. Um, we received correspondence back from the city that they weren't going to be able to make the number we were asking for, but there was five hundred thousand left in it of the initial ask that went to the council. So, what what's the what was the justification for us? having to give a million dollars from our reserve. Uh, Ms. Uh, Joanne, do you remember the, the it, it had to do with it debt was, to service? It was to be applied to debt service and it was the decision of the council and their finance committee that in order for us to receive 500,000, we had to give them the million. And if we don't give them the 500,000, then the city will give us nothing. If we don't give them the million. If we don't give them the million, the city will give us nothing. It had to do with debt to service, right? So, but but the debt service, so, and correct me if I'm wrong, but my experience with budgets are just that. The lines are budgeted for. So the debt service line is on the city side mm -hmm. of, the, of the budget, and, and they've budgeted X amount of dollars to service that debt service. That to me is a constant. They know they know what that number is, and they're budgeted accordingly for it. So, if we were to give them a million for debt service, then in essence, they can just reallocate a million dollars that they currently have allocated for debt service to another fund on the city side, right? I, I'm just is was this a negotiation or? If this was because I'm an I mean if if I'm not thinking of this correctly, please again correct me. But <laughs> when you're negotiating, I mean, 
when you're negotiating, would we say if we were in negotiations to our collective bargaining unit, we're going to give you a constant, we're going to give you a raise, which will be in perpetuity. But in order to get that, we're going to ask you for twice as much as that raise comes out to in the first year. I just, I, I mean, I, th I think we've, we've been here before and I thought it was a bad deal then. I think it's a bad deal now. You know, the, there is a formula to fund school for municipalities to fund schools. Currently that accepted formula statewide, I think it has us being underfunded from our municipality by 10, $11 million. So a $500,000 increase with us having to pay a million dollars to get it does nothing to close that 11, $12 million shortfall. I just, I think it's a, I, I don't know why. No, go ahead. I, why, why? Because I, I think I'm, go ahead. We're here because they wanted to know where we stood on this. And I told them, Superintendent Mercer called and, and it, you know, we, we, we got a pulse of what the committee's opinion was, but then they reconvened. Again, when I tell you, Mr. Chauvin, it wasn't a, it was not a negotiation. It was an education of this is what we will do for you guys to get $500,000 included into your, um, allocate to your budget. Um, Kim, do you want to speak on, on, on the meeting itself? Just so, I, I, you've I, been around. You, I understand that, you but I've done this well, before. For the last three years, we've been level funded, right? We, we're, based on the accepted funding formula, we're anywhere from 10 to $12 million gap now. So we could get 500000 for the next 26 years to get us to where we should be today. You know, we saw... And part of my frustration is this deal appears in the local newspaper. It was the first time I had heard about it. And tonight's the first time we're having a, able to have a discussion about it. I just, I, I think, uh, it, I, I can't support this. Marsha? From that meeting, it, we did get word that there was discussion about this prior to um, Superintendent Ramsey leaving. Um, and so there was a discussion that we weren't made aware of. So there were some things happening that we didn't know about. Um, the other thing is when you asked if it was a negotiation, it was absolutely not a negotiation. It was more like an ultimatum. If you give us, if you don't give us the money, we don't give you any money. That's exactly what it was. It was not a negotiation in any any way, shape, or form. I think that um, everybody in the room did a good job trying to educate me as the new person in the room, um, but I couldn't, even after all that, I couldn't understand why that was an offer that we would consider. Um, so I understand. How many years is that $500,000 Get, like how long how what is the maintenance of how long will that last for it becomes a base okay right okay I, I just want to segue on on Jen's um question but that's what they asked last year I, and I could be wrong didn't they ask for three three million last year for one million and we didn't say so what what happens is it, it tends to be reoccurring. So we'll never, it, it'll never catch up. It, it will we'll always be behind. Plus the district is, isn't funded properly either. So. Make mention at the meeting that we have the, but uh, we have the Baldwin shortfall that we have to make up money for that we've already asked Ride for. So if we're asking Ride for money, what are they gonna see if we turn around and give the city a million dollars? They'll say you could use that million dollars for the school you're trying to build, which is a good point. 
We also have like 25 projects in process that also need to be, we need the um, capital fund for. So if we're giving the money to the city, it's not going to meet the needs of the district right now. Any other discussion on, on the proposal? All right, I just would like to say, Melissa is frustrated with me because I'm not getting it in one sense. Five, my first time around 100 years ago, budgets were so, they, it, it wasn't fun. We went to court. We have a chance, this, this is the taxpayer's money. We have a chance, in my opinion, to up the maintenance of effort with $500,000. We can't get the 12 or 13 million shortfall like that because we don't have a taxable base to catch up like that. But that 500,000 gets added this year. Next year, we go to the same door. Thank you very much for playing nice in the sandbox last, last year. This year, we need 250. Or so maintenance of effort, they won't be able to take away that 500,000. This deal doesn't preclude us from ever going back to them next year or the next budget cycle and asking for more to fund their schools our schools and that that's where i am i i apologize um i i come from a point where I, thankfully wasn't even the word the 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 action wasn't even hasn't even been brought up that we can take because we, we're not there we don't have to be taking an action against the city we're all playing fairly nice and again mr chabonello it wasn't a negotiation it was a it was an offer that i i thought maintenance of effort is always the best thing for a district Go ahead, Joanne. So one of the other things, we are a department of the city of Pawtucket, and every other department in the city of Pawtucket got a raise, except for the school committee. EPW got money, planning got money, all of the other departments got money. The school department did not get any money. So I just want to make you aware of that, that, you know, they did give stipends to everybody else except, you know, and we are the reason because we're building schools that the taxes are going up. So. We we'll reject the FY24 budget review and re or revision, I guess. Well, maybe the request, the, the city. Yeah. Well, we have to make a motion on the deal, the proposal from the city council. We don't want to reject the review and revision. Re review and revision is now going to be secondary. Uh, the deal is part of the review. Sorry, this is the revision. The review is the deal the city council offered. So do I have a motion? Do I have a motion to accept the proposed deal by the city council of us paying $1 million uh, in exchange for a $500,000 increase to our operational budget. Do I have a motion on the table to accept that? Motion by uh, moved by Ms. Connie, second. This is to vote it up or down. No second, motion fails. Okay, um, we took no action on it. Miss, uh, uh, do you want to give us a revise or do you want Kim to do the uh, revision? Oh, Mr. Kim do it. Okay. The chair can't second a motion, is that correct, Mr.? I'm so sorry, Melissa. I just, parliamentary. Second the motion, the vote is made, then you would get the chair back. Thank you. Um, I'm just, um, uh, all right. I'll, there was no motion taken. All right. Go ahead, Melissa. Um, I just passed out um, before you some revisions that we know of um, to date. There's probably a couple more sitting in my inbox and on my sticky notes on my desk um, that this is what we do up until we get to the summer when we take the um, after the assignment process, after we know additional information, 
uh, we take it back one more time. So thus far, um, on April 18th, uh, the budget that was approved um, to go to the city for consideration was one hundred and thirty three million nine hundred and thirty six thousand zero eight seven. Um, since then, um, if you if you look down underneath the gray bar, there are um, adjustments to the operations and then adjustments to salary and fringes. So the first um, adjustment is that the budget presented to you, um, the actual numbers came in for the renewal for the property liability and vehicle insurance, and there was a savings of $9,003. Um, the teacher supply reimbursement for like close of positions or adjustments of positions. When I ran and we built the budget, it was probably before some additional changes had taken place. And so that was like um, one of the positions in there. So it's $210 reduction of the, the supplies. Um, an increase in service details in the um, athletic department of $3,500. I noticed in reviewing the athletic budget, um, again, the athletic director was new last year. There was some monies left over. I reviewed what he was looking at this year, um, and I saw that he is um, short in the um, service details. So I bumped that up by $3,500. Um, I think it makes better sense. I'm meeting with him on Wednesday morning. Um, but I wanted, I did let him know. I think he was out for a few days. Um, and then there's also a decrease in athletic officials and referees. I guess they've um, they've changed the amount of games, plus they've combined school teams with, um, I think, some of the high schools. They, they have some joint teams now, co-op teams. And so there's less um, cost for, for the referees. So I bumped that down by 35. I think in the previous year prior to COVID, there was an increase by former athletic directors, and then it never got there. COVID shut everything down. We had savings. You really couldn't tell. But after looking at last year and looking where we're tracking this year, um, I confirmed it with him, and he's in agreement. Um, and I guess there's six different teams that were co-opted. Um, and then an adjustment for the actual uh, charter and state school tuition. There's a savings of 50696 That's because we had about uh, six, uh, 16 to $18 per student um, lower than what I budgeted. You know, I didn't have the number when we built a budget, so I put in an increase, and it was about $18 higher or $16. So that savings, because we have um, close to 2,320 students in charter schools, in state schools, that includes Davies and all the other charters in the Met. Um, this does not include the students that go to programs in other school districts, such as East Providence. Um, so that 50,000 savings. So with a subtotal savings of a reduction in the operations of about 91,409. A reduction in workers' compensation, um, a 60,604 less than what I had budgeted. Had no idea um, what uh, we were gonna be hit with in um, the workers' comp. The fortunate thing was is the mod um, experience, I guess, went down. So that actually helped us and I don't see that. Um, I do see our actual claims, and I think our claims year is running pretty good, but they can they um, add in the previous three years, and we had a large year that dropped off. Um, so that saving was 60604 Our reductions in salaries and budget for 37990 Again, that's pasting in the um, positions on who's in them, if we did any hires or people left since I did the budget in January or pulled on the numbers in January. Um, that's 37900 There's an addition for fringes. I know that sounds silly, but what that could be is that could be, you know, people who came in might have had family benefits, people, you know, who left had the single benefit. So, again, that change is actually an increase of 40961 The dental um, working rate, we have now joined the Rhode Island Interlocal Trust. There was about a 1.5% increase um, from where... Uh, the numbers were last year due to the um, the savings um, that we've been having over our good years. We've been able to give back to both the taxpayers and the employees. So we took a 6% reduction last year. When I built the budget, I actually put that back in. And so actually his, their 1.5% increase is a, is a slight decrease. And that's reflected by, um, uh, actually, I jumped down, I skipped the dental. This is the medical, 128599 reduction. And then the dental rate, that was actually um, a 4.8% 4, uh, 4 decrease. And when I took that decrease out, it's 27029 And again, the, um, the dental is a, a much smaller piece compared to medical. 
So overall in that section is a $213,000 um, 261 decrease um, with um, the, the subtotal of all. And then in addition, um, in looking at last year and how we're tracking this year, um, I'm comfortable with putting an additional 150000 in the Medicaid reimbursement. It's getting it back up to a number where we were um, a number of years ago. We had reduced it because we weren't getting as much. They were, um, they were not, um, I don't know if it was that students weren't using the services that were eligible or what was going on. However, um, in tracking it and looking at it and hearing that there's additional things that we are allowed to um, get reimbursed for, I'm comfortable with putting 150000 in there. So with that being said, the new budget um, changes to, um, so the increase in revenue, the decrease in the expenses, which would decrease what the ask from the city would be. Uh, the new total budget would be 133, 631, 417, which results in a 535,030 asks from the city. It's still above what they put in, but my point um, to make here is there's a few other things um, that we can look for. We don't have retirements in this. There's some breakage in here, but there's only probably a couple. Um, I don't know what they fully already know that retirements come in now as, as we're going on. And so we, you know, they have up until, you know, school starts to retire, but um, with the retirements that are coming in and, um, Again, with how the assignment process works, I, we don't know who's leaving. Um, this could result in additional savings that could actually bring us under the 500. Um, I have not increased the breakage that we had in there before. There was a few hundred thousand in there. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, since pulling all the data down in January for the salaries and then coming, uh, working on the budget in February and March and then bringing it in April, um, we've been able to make these changes. I do know one thing that's not in here is, is, um, and Lee, I didn't get a chance to talk to you. That's why I didn't put it in here. I wanted to talk to you more about the GED law. Um, so there is no budget in here for that. We only have a couple of students that are getting the GED, but districts are responsible to pay for that. Um, so that could be an ad the next time we bring it forward. It's not a ton of money, but I wanted to let you know this is constantly changing between now and when we come back in August um, for another pass at this. comment great work on this melissa thank, thank you it uh i know a lot uh you start seeing you know you're talking about a 130 million dollar budget and we're, we're we're getting it down to 210 dollar uh yeah i change any I line that i change right i sorry I appreciate the uh the I have to come for every dollar yeah absolutely that's the tie absolutely well done thank you thank you so I'm I'm very glad to see that we're finding savings. I wish that we could have possibly looked at this before we made our last motion. When we're here, we are saying that we're already ahead of what we had planned. We're already trending more than what we had planned. We also, there's not everything included. And so I feel like we just gave up a maintenance of effort over the next however long as a new base when then we find out we have uncovered all of these additional savings and that we're trending towards more. So that is just, I just want to make that comment. I think that, that this was a short-sighted um, decision, especially when this is the evidence that we are now so excited that we have all of this extra money that we didn't account for. So that's disappointing to me. So I, if I could respond to explain to you, this is not uncommon. We do not know what our property liability or workers' comp is going to be. That's not on the up and up. I'm mm -hmm. just saying that we took a vote to give up half a million dollars added to our baseline when we are now looking at additional trends towards savings. So that to me just, I just want to say, you know, that is why I mean, without, I, I was glancing at this and thinking I'm seeing all these additional funds. Um, but I also believe in the maintenance of effort. And now after I see this, I, I'm just glad that I had put on the record that I had voted yes for that agreement. Any other discussion? <laughs> Uh, motion the motion to adjourn Second. seconded by Ms. Uh, Deputy Chair uh, Grant uh, all those in favor Aye. all those opposed congratulations getting through the quickest school committee meeting so far thank you